Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today's video is tips that I learned here on YouTube and what's working for me. So if you guys are interested in hearing what those tips are and what is working out for me, keep on watching. Okay, so I thought I'd share a few of these tips with you guys and I have learned them along the way from other people here on YouTube, some that I watch quite a bit and have become friends with. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is under my eyes. Okay, under my eyes, I have had problems lately where it gets very dry under there and with the cold and everything, I always, always get super dry right now. My skin just, as I always say, plays, it's just, it's havoc. I was having a hard time with the Tarte Shape Tape because that you know, concealer is pretty dry. It dries pretty quick and you know, you need to be quick with it and it wasn't working for me. I don't know. It just was not working out for me. Now I am using an eye serum. Uh, I had some leftover eye serum from the gold company gold. I think I know what eye serum I'm going to purchase because I think there is a product that's similar to it. Uh, that would have the same feeling under my eyes to help soften it there because an eye serum it seems to be helping to soothe it better, you know, for there. But also what I learned, and it was, I believe, like Emily Noel uh, was one of them that had shared about using something of a cooling stick and rolling underneath there. And, you know, not only is it cooling, but it's hydrating under your eyes and it helps, you know, with the creepiness and under the eye kind of a thing. I know I have not tried this one. I know Sharon Capehart says about uh, the jojoba oil. She likes using jojoba oil. She even does it after the fact, which I've done that with this one here too. This is that Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. I'm telling you what, I, this product here has has to be like just this thing surprised me and how much I really like it and I use it for all kinds of different things not just you know on my face which I think it does an exceptionally great job for me in you know making my pores diminished and gone like I look like I have flawless skin is you know because it helps with the pores but I take it and uh, before I put my concealer on or anything, I'll like prime my face and then I'll take this and roll underneath under my eyes, which like I said, feels so soothing and cooling, tap on along there. And then uh, once that's done, I've learned this a lot from Laura Shake Up Makeup. I know Mary Glitzy Fritzy does it. I will take uh, like my e.l.f. setting powder, whatever powder you use for under your eyes or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. I used to use my you know, my pointer brush and pat along there. And that has worked for me. However, lately I've been doing the ring finger where you tap in and pat it along to set your concealer. Between that whole concept with using an eye serum right now, I mean, an eye cream probably might do just as good. I guess I'm just thinking with a serum, it's more, you know, molly and, and, and soothing and, you know, and, Using this though, I think is the big key. I thought I would demonstrate because in my video somewhere I didn't explain quite of a demonstration. And I'm going to be getting ready to do my eye look, but this is what I normally do. I put this product on first, this gold serum for under the eyes. I did that first. I already did that. And I let it set for a while and dry. Now I'm going to use the Hard Candy Primer Stick and I'm going to put that along on my eyes here. Just rub up and along. And then I just pat with my fingers. And I'm going to get ready to do my eye look and then I will show you the part of the concealer. Now, I am at the point where I like to put the concealer on because I already got my eye makeup on. I don't usually like put my concealer on until after I get my eye makeup on. That way I make a mistake. 
So this is what I do afterwards is I, and I'm using my Better Skin Maybelline, one of my favorite concealers. So I just mark along here and I do one eye at a time. I don't go off and do both. I like to do one at a time and I just pat and press kind of very gently. This has been working the best for me lately for setting under my eyes. I do work up a little bit. I take my little e.l.f. whatever you want to use to set under your eyes. I like using the e.l.f. one a little bit. Take my ring finger, tap in, and then again gently press along here with my finger. It gives me a really nice set there. And if I want to, if I feel like maybe I might need a little bit more of this guy, that's what I'll do. I'll just rub along with my fingers and pat that in along there with that. And there we go. And that's what I've been doing under my eyes lately because it's just been working out for me. Pretty simple. Like looking now, oh my goodness, under my eyes there looks so much more better. It looks so much more better than what it was. It was really looking bad. So, and then throughout the day, if I do feel I need to, you know, touch up there, I'll take this again and kind of roll it over top and it's it works fine. I might try the jojoba oil at some point too. I never did really try that. I know Sharon Capehart has talked about that many times. So that's the first one. Okay, the second one, I was watching Doris Dalton live, Doll 10. She has a company called Doll 10. She's on QVC and everything. And she was talking about like right here, you know, under your eyes and everything. Like as we are aging, um, she was saying that sometimes you're, you're maybe better off not putting mascara on the lower lashes. And I am somebody that likes to put mascara on my lower lashes. I don't know. I just, I do. And I always have. Now I still do, but I do it very gently, like just little gentle little strokes, you know, real gentle. I know some use the Maybelline, that one that has the real small wand. So I do do, I do do. I do put very little there, very little, and then I've been taking my eyeshadow, a lighter color, just to enhance a little bit more, and then something like this, uh, which is a new product I'm trying out and using, the Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner, and this one's in shiny bronze, and it's a color that brightens under the eye area, like it brightens there for you. So, you know, you get this nice brightened open eye. If you notice, like if you're looking at my eyes now, they look more open, like more, you know, look more open and you can see my eyes more. You know, it's not so dark, I guess is the word I'm trying to say. And I don't mind sometimes putting something underneath there just a little bit darker, like taking the black sometimes for my eyeshadow and working it in. But lately what I've been doing is I'll take a little bit and go only so far into like the middle part, like where your pupil's at, like where you're looking straight ahead in your mirror and you bring it over and like stop about halfway point. That's what I'll do. And then I'll take something more brightening and come in this way, you know, kind of connect it with that other one. I do that sometimes so it doesn't look so closed in for the eyes. With making my eyes look more open, those have worked for me. I really like that. And then the final one is from Nick Chavez, who, you know, I really like a lot with his products. He was talking about when you're putting conditioner in your hair to just do it like seven inches away from your scalp. Don't put the conditioner on your scalp so much. Take it, take so much of your hair and then work it through, work the conditioner through in your hair 
and leave like seven inches away from your scalp, I believe it was what it is. Now, I think if you have shorter hair, obviously it would be a little less than the seven inches, but still don't take the conditioner and put it on your scalp. Just work it up and through in your ends because he said that's where you're going to need most of the conditioning anyway. And that way you're maybe not clogging up there on your scalp and you won't have to worry about that kind of thing so much. And since I've been doing that, I noticed that, yeah, it's, it is a great concept in doing it that way. It makes sense, you know, and I don't know. I just never, I just took the conditioner and just rubbed it all in. And, and he said that, you know, try that for a while. He talks about it a lot on QVC. So I've been trying it and sure enough, yeah, like I feel like my scalp doesn't get as clogged as what, it was. I mean, I still get it because I wear other, put other products in my hair, but since doing that, it helps to cut it back some. So those are like basically three things that I've been working through and playing around with and trying out. I do have a couple other things in my mind that I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to try it. And because I see on YouTube, people have shared it and I'm going to let you know if it was working for me or not. But yeah, is there any tips that you guys have that you found helpful and you do it all the time now? Like it's something, it's a ritual. You know, you do it all the time. This, these might not work for you. These might be something that you might try. You might not like to do it. It's not something I'm telling you that you have to do. I'm not telling you this is what you should do because everybody still likes to do what they want and what they're comfortable with and what they're happy with, you know, and that's the main thing. As long as you're happy, I just wanted to play around and see how it worked out and if it was working for me. I got a couple shout outs I am going to do. Okay, so the first person I'm gonna mention is Joan Nevada Nell person. It's another one that I got to know through the MAB Beauty Group. Like I said, I've had quite a few of them wonderful people in that group that I really got to know and friends with and watch. She is in Nevada, Las Vegas, which I have quite a few lovely ladies here on YouTube that does live in uh, Las Vegas. Which Joan is uh, somebody that likes to share a lot of beauty products. She'll share the boxing, the unboxing. She does her favorites. She'll um, she's really into nails. If you like nail polish, if you are like a nail polish uh, fan, I do like nail polish, but I need to play with it more. Sadly, like I am somebody that does not really fully work into my nails. And I feel like I do need to work into that more. But yeah, if you're big into that, she has lots of shares with that. I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. So please go check her out, show some love and subscribe if you like. And then I cannot let my Isabel, the colors of beauty by Al. Oh my goodness. I, she's like my, a little ball of sunshine. Seriously. Actually, I think I met her in a collab that I did with, uh, a couple other ladies. Best to goodness. Her little, uh, giggles, her little way of sharing on YouTube. I don't know. I just, I really enjoy her. She does a little bit of everything. She started stepping into more sharing uh, her cooking a little bit on there, vlogging. She does definitely share, obviously, a lot of beauty products too. She's such a sweetheart. I just love her. So I'm going to put a link down below to her channel as well. Please go check her out and show her some love and subscribe if you like. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you come and join me each week, but you have to make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. The bell is very important as well as the subscribe button because the bell will notify you of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. Also, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also share because sharing and putting thumbs up is a good way to get me noticed out there too. And also beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.